Pink Podcast. Tune in, Pink Podcast. Pink Podcast, yeah. Pink Podcast. Tune in, Pink Podcast. Pink Podcast, yeah. Pink Podcast. Tune in, Pink Podcast. Pink Podcast, yeah. Pink Podcast. Tune in, Pink Podcast. Pink Podcast, yeah. Pink Podcast on broadcast. If you're ready, let's ride. Got the whole city plugged in with us. Set the city on fire. From Winston Salem to the world, we just reppin' our side. Pink Podcast on broadcast. If you're ready, let's ride. Backing it, we backing it. Miss Faith, what's happening? Bobby Bugatti was cracking it. We really do it, no accident. Pushing community management, diversity, advocates, active in the city, tapping in. Activator had to add us in. Pink vibes, pink rims on the pink ride. Riding clean, got my pinky out. Let them see it, took the scenic route. Yeah, turn it up, tune in. We going live on the broadcast. Big things for the city. Pull up, it's the pink podcast. I'm about the money, I'll pass on the hoe. Then want the truth, but I lie on the oath. How you gon' ride, you won't die for your bro. All my P's and my Q, so I stay on my trip. I need the money, so bring me a big bag. I hit his chick, now he won't get his bitch back. I got a habit of rocking these shows. These niggas be faking, they hating them. I'm about the money, I'll pass on the hoe. Then want the truth, but I lie on the oath. How you gon' ride, you won't die for your bro. All my P's and my Q, so I stay on my trip. Hey, what's going on, Winston Salem? It's the Pink Talk Podcast. Straight out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, I am your host, Sharita C. Williams, filling in for Bugatti today. And in the studio, we have hey, King. King Yeah. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So glad to have you here on the Pink Talk Podcast. Thank um, you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself as um, an artist? As an artist? Uh, you know, I'm, I think I'm one of one, of course. You know what I'm saying? I think I bring a, a different impact to the game, real melodic, um, real authentic feel to the game. Right, and what's your genre of artistry? Um, I don't feel like I have one, okay. but we can go with hip hop and R&B, but I feel like I don't have one just because I can expand to wherever you wanna take it. That's right, that's right. And um, how long have you been doing your thing, man? Uh, three years officially. Okay. Um, three years officially, five years in the media. All right. Yeah. And so, what inspired you to become an artist, uh, a writer even? Um, I would say more so the loss of my brother, but just being around and having an ear and always loving the, the thing, you know, loving music. Um, I think that that's really how I just thrive off of making I understand. music. Yeah. Um, what are your greatest influences? Take take a moment and tell Ooh. me um, uh, a few of your greatest influences and why they influence you so. Um. I would say first and foremost, Sade is mm-hmm. probably one of my biggest influences. I, uh, I've never heard anybody else sound like Sade ever. It's never been replicated, you know. So, yeah. um, I think Sade is probably my biggest one, and she's a Capricorn like me. So, hey, I'm a Capricorn. Okay, hey. so you know who's going. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean. So, yeah. you know, I feel like I could relate a lot to how she does her music because I feel like I'm authentic, and I feel like nobody has the sound that I have. Um, also, you know, you have your little wings, you have your, my dad was a DJ, so I listened to everything you could think of, to the Rock Kims, right. to the KRS Ones, to the Usher, to Jill Scott, Floor Tree. So it's really just the music itself is an influence to me. Mm-hmm. I've been listening to it all, rock music, Corn, Linkin Park, Green Day, <coughs> and cool. it all, so. So you just multifaceted. I love it, like I just said. love music. You don't want to want to put in a box. Cause we might we might find you with a, with a guitar. I need Taylor Swift on a song. Yeah. You know, what I'm I need I need that kind of type vibe. So. Right. Yeah. So, involved. so when did you put out your first single or first project, Body of Work? Twenty eighteen. I dropped Money Combo. Okay. That was my first time dropping something. If I'm not mistaken, twenty nineteen was the first time I dropped a full project, which is called Pressure Makes Diamonds. Mm-hmm. That was the first time I had it hosted by a DJ. Um, yeah, that was my first full project as an artist. That was my coming out project as an artist. Right, and was it well received, or yeah. how did you distribute that music? Uh, that was all through all platforms. Um, you know, did the typical listening party. Um, had all my people come in and enjoy what was going on. But 
for the most part, that was just my first go around in music. I still have the same process of dropping and making music um, to this day. Mm -hmm. I never really changed up how I went about the process of making it because I went through five different album lineups and songs before I even dropped that project, my first right. project. You know, so I had a hundred, hundred songs. Did tell you I make a lot of music. Yeah. So throughout the course of saying like I, I'm gonna drop in the summertime, five of them songs probably not gonna be on that project <laughs> right. just because I made five more that was like that guy had to go on the project. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Uh, from the first project to now, it's really just all the same process and, uh, you know, just, you know, strategic. So what type of production are you using? Are you using um, in-house sources or do you outsource and work with anyone that uh, you catch a, guy, catch a vibe with? Um, I'm more of an in-house guy, mm -hmm. but I do, uh, I do know a, lump sum of a good amount of people that uh, are in the industry or that does music as well so I, I tend to you know reach out and stuff like that but for the most part a lot of the work that I do is in-house for producers that I like started with mm -hmm. or just in the environment that I'm in that day, on a daily basis you want to name drop any of those man folks? shout out DJ Day Day shout out Rough Beats for more, first and foremost first and foremost Rough Beats for sure right. um, shout out Shop House shout out The Reaper Club shout out you got keys, shout out Sleeve, shout out the kids, shout out DMV, shout out Billy Peso. Yeah, I could keep going. Shout out everybody that's been a part of um, you know, the process. Are all these all Southern producers? Um, JP is a South Carolina producer. Mm -hmm. I have uh, Split It. His name is Split It on the beat. Um, Juvie Catcher. Um, Them type, they are from Ukraine, Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, I built, yeah, built personal relationships with them type of people. So they, we work with people overseas. International production yeah, is international always production. solid, and they are wild about hip hop. They're crazy. And about it, yeah. yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love the uh, support I get from over the international uh, producers and artists as well too. Absolutely. For sure. So, what is your current project name or current single? Um, the current single is called Most Hated Out right now on all platforms. Um, video out on YouTube. Uh, my project's probably gonna be called All or Nothing. I like, like I said, nothing <laughs> set in stone until the day it drops. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, All or Nothing right now is the project you know, that's gonna be coming in the summertime. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do it big for them. Is it gonna be like an EP or? Mm -hmm. It's a project. It's just Complete. Probably like 15 songs. Okay. And you'll have production from? We got production from Studio Studio Beats, DJ Day Day, Chop House on the track, Rough Beats. Um, we got features from Seti Hendrix, uh, PG Raw, um, Split It on the beat. Shout out Jerry Beats. Uh, yeah. I think that's a good list. Oh, J Ro, shout out J Ro, of course. I don't know how I forgot. Shout out Spoken, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a it's a it's a real diverse project. Yeah. As far as producers and who's involved and who had a hand on on, on things. Um, even with the features that I got on. Right. You know, you get this kind of VMA, then you get this kind of VMA. So it's like, you know, with you get 12, a wide range. With twelve thousand was it 12.5 uh, 12 12 yeah 12.8 okay. and counting and coming back from south by southwest <laughs> yeah that's a great you know oh let's talk about that real quick yeah. to let y'all know he does have over excuse me almost 13,000 yeah, followers real so we'll just followers. go ahead and round it up 13,000 real followers wasn't um you know built on some type of app nope. he's been out here working y'all yeah sure. on instagram getting it in yeah, yeah. And, you know you just gotta put yourself, your, yourself out there to network absolutely yeah. and you've gone as far as texas at the south yeah. by southwest tell us yeah. about that that was cool um you know we did a performance um it was my first time so i got to actually experience what it's like to feel like i gotta get my shit together yeah you know what i'm saying like as far as like people people claim they artists people claim they managers people claim they this and that but if you've never been to an event like that and seen how these artists are really moving Putting and how these work. managers are really moving mm -hmm. on an itinerary it got to be 
Absolutely. You There's no it. procrastination. Yeah, it's, it's real professionalism that goes on out there, you know what I'm saying? So, but that being said, anybody that goes, whatever type of artist you are, you should come back with some type of change game plan because you're not doing it right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So, or if you are doing it right, you could be tightening up the screws and making things, you know, a little bit better. But definitely uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. Right. Can you be transparent enough to let us know what it is that you learned specifically as an artist? Uh -huh. To, to, have, a, to awesome. have a legitimate team, mm -hmm. you have to have a team. Yeah. You have to have a team. And not, I'm not talking about your homeboys, your homegirl, your daddy, your mama. I'm talking about people that's on the same agenda. Absolutely. People that have the same idea that can sit back and be like, he's the artist. He's the artist. I shouldn't have to go talk to this DJ. Have somebody do that. That's you got to right. have somebody in your group that's good at talking and talking business, that no numbers or that, that no what's going on you know i do but you got to take the if you're going to be around the artist if you understand that the artist is the investment or mm -hmm. if you understand that whatever is going on you got to play your role you got to play it right you That's know right. what i'm saying same way the artist is given 100 percent as being the artist mm -hmm. you got to be given 100 percent of the manager and being the producer or the engineer or the videographer right like you got to do you got to up the ante so with that being said really just that and knowing how to really market promote when you go to the even if you go to an open mic there's ways of doing it the right way I'm versus so just pushing up that. you know what i'm saying like make it a scene yeah. you know what i'm saying like why you don't got banners right. you don't got no nothing to pass out right these folk don't know you mm -mm. first impression is everything you and put out there with banners and doing this like, open mics that's right open mics you ain't talking about no festival shows you talking about open mics you gonna make a difference and from then say? What they say, whenever you go and do it the right way, you don't ever have to perform whenever the real thing shows you know up. Saying? You're doing things right you from the start. You already got it done. You got it down packed. And that was another thing. I learned how to perform for real. Yeah. I could perform, but man, South by Southwest, I was like, these, yeah. these folks got it mapped out. They got mm -hmm. it right. They got it down packed. So, you know, my hats off to everybody that went out to South by Southwest, but for sure, that was cool. Yeah. Do you intend on going to any other festivals this year yeah, before we, you drop your next project? Yeah, hopefully we can get to AC, uh, AC3. Yeah, AC3. in Atlanta? Yeah, man. I always get it backwards too, but yeah. we know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I got to go out there and same thing, it's been my first year going, but it's important for me to go just to showcase, even if I didn't perform at all, it's important to showcase. So I'm gonna go out there and network, yeah. you know, um, hopefully get some festivals in there. In Greensboro, Winston, Triad area, but for the most part, you know, we're focusing on these bigger events. Absolutely. Out of state. Absolutely. Sure. A lot of time you blow up and bring it back. And bring it back. Yeah. People are so caught up in the uh, local and it's like, you're the brand. You're here. I'm here. Why do I got to do so much promoting as far as that when I'm the brand here myself? Correct. You know what I'm saying? Why not do it, take that out to bring it back in? Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. That's how I promote myself. I'm here. I'm going to be in Raleigh. I'm going to be in Charlotte. I'm going to be right. in these places. All because I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be in Texas every day. Right. I got to go out there with my game plan. Like, I got to come out there ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, these folks, just one time they might not see me again. Right. They got to remember who I am. And all they got is and that. want to keep up. That you know EPK or that single. That's all they got to hold on to. Right. Unless you come like the baby and wear a diaper and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, it's been so great speaking with you. And where can we find you on social media? Give us all the all the all, all um, the juice. You can find me on IG at the number one K-I-N-G B-M-A. That's one K-I-N-G B-M-A. You can find me on all platforms. Platforms, music platforms at K-I-N-G B-M-A. No space in the middle of K-I-N-G B-M-A. That's Spotify, that's live mixtapes, that's anywhere you get your music. Um, Twitter, one King BMA, Snapchat, King BMA 10. All right. DMG, longest that's that's right. Well, we wish you the best yeah. here from Pink Talk Podcast. We've had King BMA in the yeah, house. Man, appreciate y'all. On man. Pink Talk Podcast. Yeah. Thank you so much. Shout out King B Talk. Pink Podcast, tune in Pink Podcast, Pink Podcast, yeah, Pink Podcast, tune in Pink Podcast, Pink Podcast, yeah, Pink Podcast, tune in Pink Podcast, Pink Podcast, yeah, Pink Podcast, tune in Pink Podcast, Pink Podcast, yeah, Pink Podcast on broadcast. If you're ready, let's ride. Got the whole city plugged in with us, set the city on fire. From Winston Salem to the world.
We just reppin' our side Paint podcast on broadcast If you ready, let's ride Back in it, we back in it Miss Faith, what's happening? Bobby Bugatti, was cracking it? We really do it, no accident Pushing community management Diversity, advocates Active in the city, tapping in Activated, had to add us in Pink vibes, pink rims on the pink ride Riding clean, got my pinky out Let them see it, took the scenic route Yeah, yeah Turn it up, tune in, we going live on the broadcast Big things for the city, pull up, it's the Pink Podcast